How's everybody doing today? Today I want to talk about Danny Garcia and Brandon Bam Bam Rios. On my way back from the gym. Um, hope everybody had a good day today. Uh, yeah, man, I, I honestly think this fight, man, is is going to be a pretty good fight. You know, but, you know, I know a lot of people have their doubts about Bam Bam and how good he can do. And, you know, is he still, does he still have anything left in the tank? And my personal, you know, my personal opinion about that is I think he does. I think that time off he had is a good thing, you know. I think that time off he had will help him out, you know, with this whole situation going on right now with him and Danny. You know, this fight at, at hand. Um, you know Danny's going to come with it. Danny's in his prime. Danny's not, you know, hasn't been in too many wars. Um, I think if that con fight with Danny would would have went on anymore, it would have been a it would have been a um, back and forth because Danny was definitely getting touched up. He got cut, um, and everything in that fight. And that was only four rounds. You know, Khan was picking him apart. And um, if it would have went like that, then Danny would have been, you know, Danny would have been. It would have. Danny would have made that a war, but Danny got that equalizer, and um, he used it, and he knocked Khan completely out, which everybody had Danny leading up to that. Even Vegas had Danny gonna lose that fight they, they thought Danny was you know he was a champion they thought he was gonna lose it you know and they didn't think he was you know they didn't think he was that good so fast forward you know he fought uh Danny fought you know Zab Judah after that did very well against Zab Judah but he did knock J Zab J Judah down he got cut in that fight too Headbutt. Um, Danny isn't prone to getting cut, but it happens. You know, cuts could play a part in this. You know, um, like I said, you know, watch out for the cuts because um, both fighters have been in some, you know, bloody fights before. For sure, for sure. And um, you know, the whole fight with Lucas Matisse. Lucas Matisse is a 147-pound champion now. But Danny beat Lucas Matisse when they, a lot of people thought Danny was going to lose that fight, if you remember. He fought on the, uh, on the undercard. He was the co-main event to the uh, Canelo versus uh, Floyd Mayweather fight, the one. And um, I thought that fight was better than the Floyd Mayweather um, and Canelo fight, to be honest with you. Mayweather put on a... Mayweather put on a, uh, a clinic against uh, Canelo, a young Canelo at the time. I think if Mayweather fought Canelo now, it'd be a little bit better. You know, I think it'd be a lot better, to be honest with you. I think it, you know, it wouldn't be as, as one-sided as it was. And um, one of the judges had it a draw, I think, in that fight. <laughs> I don't, like, <laughs> these judges are out of their fucking mind, dude. Like, what are they doing? Like, and that's another thing about judges. You know, with the Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia fight, I thought Danny Garcia won that fight. I honestly did. I honestly thought, and I give credit to Keith Thurman, but I slightly had uh, Danny winning that fight, man. It could have went either way. That fight could have went either way. My personal opinion is I thought Danny won that fight. That's my personal opinion about that fight. You know, you can have your opinion. You're entitled to it. I'm entitled to mine. I thought, I thought Danny won that fight. You know. Keith Thurman is a hell of a fighter, you know. Is Keith Thurman ducking Earl Spence? You know. And, and in it, at the end of the day, when Danny's fighting Bam Bam Brandon Rios, does Brandon Rios have something to say about the, everybody looking past Bam Bam Rios? He's back with his old trainer. Um, Robert G Garcia and uh, you know they're back together again for the first time in a little while and um, you know we'll see how that how that meshes out they said I mean Brandon Rios is looking damn good his weight's looking really well like he's slimmed down like if you look at Brandon Rios right now he's slim he's slim as hell like you can see it in his face go back 
back and look at some of the Ellie setback videos of Brandon last year and look at him now. Completely different. He's probably about 150. 150 something right now, I, I will, if I want to guess. They said, man, in the past, the week of the fight, Bam Bam was still 15, 20 pounds overweight. A week into the fight. Fight week. Still was, was a major... Cutting weight was a major to do, you know. And now, weight's not an issue for Brandon Rios. You know. Even Danny said he got a little heavy before this fight. Because he had a layoff after the Keith Thurman fight. He said he's, he's been one of the heaviest he's ever been. For this Bam Bam Rios fight. On record. So, we'll see if that goes into play. You know. Danny Garcia hasn't had a fight in a while. Danny Garcia hasn't fought in over a year, I think. So, um, yeah, and I think Brandon Rios has been a while since he fought as well. So we'll see how this works out. I mean, I honestly think Danny Garcia will will take it. I just don't see Bam Bam Rios winning, man. But then again, I mean, he's he's fought, you know, won a couple, you know, times. You know, I mean, he's, he's won. He's beaten Mike Alvarado, but he's gotten beat by Mike Alvarado. He got stopped by Timothy Bradley. Um, got, you know, went to decision with Manny Pacquiao. Um, that was one-sided. That was like 12-0, you know, with the scores. But uh, it was pretty much, you know, he had, and then he, he fought Lamont Peterson's brother, Anthony Peterson, but he dominated him. And then he got... Anthony Peterson got got DQ for low blows. He got knocked down in the fifth round, and then he started throwing low blows in the sixth round. Got DQ'd in the seventh. I mean, it was a, it was a terrible. It was, it was and that's his only loss to this day. He's like thirty eight and one. That's Anthony Peterson's only loss. Still to this day. Garcia stop it, Brandon Reels. I'm gonna go six rounds. I think by the seventh, by the seventh, I'm gonna go seven. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna go seventh or eighth round of stoppage by Danny Garcia. TKO, technical knockout. I don't think it's gonna be a one hitter, but you know what I mean. He's done. And, you know what I mean? It might be a, it might be a body blow. Shit, Brandon Rios ain't never had no six pack. He always been flabby in his stomach. Shit, Danny Garcia likes to work the body. A lot of people talk about Earl Spence work wants to work the body. Look at that. Look at Danny Garcia's body work. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Danny, I mean Danny Garcia, man. Just imagine if he did not. Just imagine if the, if that one because if one judge had it a draw. And I think two judge, one judge might have had it, Danny Garcia. One judge had it, Keith Thurman, and then the other judge had it, Keith Thurman. Just imagine that one judge had it, Danny Garcia. We wouldn't even be talking about Brandon Rios right now, probably, because he wouldn't be coming off an injury, and he'd probably be fighting right now. Like Keith Thurman's injury, elbow injury. We're talking about he's not fighting Earl Spence till 2020. But yeah, I got Danny Garcia. By eighth round stoppage. Shebang. 